<clears throat> so imagine you file your case with UCIS, whether it's a green card case or an employment-based case, and then you log in to check the status of your case and it says your case is being actively reviewed. What does that mean? So many people are worried, so many people are asking us this question, so I'm making this video to explain to you what all these notices mean when you log in to check the status of your case, specifically the one that says my case is being actively reviewed. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. In this case, we'll explain to you the process that UCIS goes through when they review your case, when your case is being submitted. This way, you'll understand what it means every single status update when you log in online. And so this will help you to stay calm and not anxious while you're waiting for the results of your case with UCIS. Before we do that, before we explain to you the process of how UCIS reviews your case and what the different statuses mean, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our immigration channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. So, when you submit your paperwork to UCIS, what you expect is the agency to review your case, to go through your paperwork and eventually make a decision. In the meantime, while they do that, they may need more information from you. And of, and of course, at every step of the way, they'll provide updates to let you know where your case is, your case is in the different stages of the process. So when you submit your paperwork to UCIS, you expect them to review your case, process the paperwork, and let you know if they need any more information from you. By doing that, they go through different stages and at different, st a different stage, they'll update their online system as to where you are in the process. Still, a lot of our clients, a lot of the YouTube viewers log in to their online case status system on UCIS and see status updates that are very confusing. For example, when you see something like your case is being actively reviewed. Once again, don't worry. It's all part of the active review process. Now, I know it's stressful. I know it's confusing. And that's why we're making this video for you. So let's understand together the UCIS review process. When you send your forms and your case to UCIS, the process begins. Your case evaluation starts at that point. Once they receive your information, your payment documents and everything, they, they cash your check, that's when they start working on your case. The initial status when you log in to the USCIS website says case received. That means they're starting the process of your case. Now, what, what happens on their side? They have to create an actual A file for you. We call this the A file. It follows your A number. That's number one, that's what they do. Then they assign an officer to process your initial paperwork. And finally, they start putting together a list of things that they might need from your side in case things are missing. Only once an officer is assigned and actually starts working on your case, the status will change to active review. And so when they actually start working on your case and an officer assigned, it's going to say your case is actively being reviewed. And that's exactly that status that you are worried about and we're getting so many questions about. During the active review process, they're going to go through the forms, make sure there's no mistakes, look at your supporting evidence and compile a list of everything else that might be needed from your end before they move to the next step. So how long does the review process take from the USCIS side. So remember, they have to thoroughly go through your case before they make a decision to approve your case or request for more evidence, and in rare cases, deny it right away. Mm -hmm. Depending on your individual case, depending on how many documents are involved in the review and your immigration history, this process can take anywhere from a few weeks to several months, which is more common, to a few years as well in some rare cases. So how do you check your online UCIS case status? In the, in the description below, you'll see a link to the online UCIS case status website where you'll be able to type in your case number and that will reveal the information about your case at the time you are inquiring. You check on your case is by typing the receipt number. The receipt number, the receipt number is provided in your receipts when you file your case and you receive the receipts within a few weeks you'll find a case number typically on the upper left corner of your case. It starts usually with the WC or any other letters, depend, or any other letters depending on where your case is located. You type in that case number into the box on the website of USCIS and it will tell you the status of your case. It will be in the beginning received or accepted. Then your status will change to, as we mentioned before, under active review. 
and then could go to request for additional evidence sent, which means they need more information from you. And typically there's a deadline to respond to that request for evidence. And remember guys, sometimes you'll see requests for evidence sent, but you've never received a physical document. It's happening more and more right now. You have to be diligent to contact UCIS to let them know guys, we, you send us an update on the online system, but we don't have the physical request for evidence. We can't respond. You know, we have a few cases like this where we actually have to make inquiries to a supervisor or even take it to a level above because it's been two months and we still have not received the request for evidence itself. So be mindful of that. And finally, the status will say approved or denied. Hopefully in your case, it will be approved. Why is it taking so long for UCIS to make decisions on your cases? The reason is because there's a huge backlog. As you know, applications for like I-130, 45 are taking a long time to process because there are many, many cases ahead of you. But that's why the online system case status is quite helpful to let you know where you are in the system and how they're processing your case. Remember, if you are outside of normal processing times, which you can also check that on the USAS website, it tells you what is the reasonable amount of time that they're processing every single form. You check the form number that you're working currently on and see if you're outside of normal processing times, there are, also other, there are other things you can do to make inquiries and try to request special expedite in your case because they are really, really behind. So hopefully that information is helpful. Now you're gonna be less concerned, less worried when you see the status of your case online. Again, if you need help with your immigration matter, send me a text 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.